finding points of intersection on the TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. So first, here's the process that we can follow. To determine the point or points of intersection of two graphs, first the equations must be written in the y equals form. So if it's not written in that form, you may have to solve for y. Go to the y equals screen and input both equations, one in the y1 line and the other in the y2 line. Then graph the equations. If necessary, you may need to adjust the window to find the points of intersection. Go to the Calc menu. Select the fifth option, which is called the Intersect. That will bring you back to the graph screen. You will move left or right as needed to move the cursor near a point of intersection. Press Enter three times and the calculator will return the point of intersection and it will possibly be approximated. And Then you would need to repeat that, pr that process uh, from the intersect command if you had more than one point of intersection. All right, so let's look at a, an example. Here we are asked to determine the point or points of intersection of y equals negative 2x plus 7 and y equals 1 third x minus 4. So what I'm going to think here is, let me call my y1 the negative 2x plus 7, and I'll call my y2 the 1 third x minus 4. So now if I bring up my calculator, I'll go to the y equals screen, and if I have anything there before, I'll go ahead and delete it. But it's clear, so let me type in the first equation, negative 2x plus 7. And I'll enter that, moving into the y2 line. And that's 1 third. Always a good idea to put those fractions in parentheses. 1 third x minus 4. So now I'll go ahead and graph these equations, and I'm just using the standard window. So zoom 6 brings me to the standard window, and I see a point of intersection. So now I'll go ahead and calculate the point of intersection. Second, calc. Fifth option, intersect. Here's my cursor at 0, 7. I'm going to get into the habit of moving it to move close to the point of intersection, which is to the right of where my point is now. So I'm going to continue pressing the right cursor until I'm reasonably close, and then I'll hit enter three times. And I see the intersection. at 4.7142857 and negative 2.428571. Determine the points of intersection of y equals 0.15x plus 2 and 2x plus 9y equals 80. Well, I already have my y1, right? It's already in that form, y equals, so I'll call my y1 0.15x plus 2. But now the other equation is not in y equals form, so let's put it in y equals form. I'll subtract 2x from both sides. So then 9y is equal to negative 2x plus 80 and dividing by 9 I will write that as y equals negative 2 ninths x plus 80 ninths and so I'll call my y2 negative 2 ninths x plus 80 ninths 
go to the calculator, y equals screen, clear out the old stuff, and now I'll put in the new equation. y1 is 0.15x plus 2, y2 is, I'm going to put these fractional coefficients in parentheses, negative 2 ninths x plus 80 ninths. Graphing this, again in the standard window, I do not see a point of intersection. But it appears that if I were to move to the right a little bit, I would see the point of intersection. So let me go to my window, and I will adjust the x maximum, since I need to see further to the right. And I'll replace the 10 with a 20. Regraph it, and I can see the point of intersection. So now going into the calc menu by pressing 2nd and the trace key, fifth option for the intersect. Let me move to the right to get close to the point of intersection. And I press enter three times. And it yields the point of intersection. So the intersection is at 18.507, 4.776. And you may need to approximate those depending on your needs. Determine the points of intersection of y equals negative 2 by x minus 3 squared plus 7 and x plus y equals 8. All right, so the 1 is already solved for y, so we'll call that my y1. y1 is negative 2 by x minus 3 squared plus 7. And for the second equation, well, we have x plus y equals 8, subtracting x from both sides yields y is equal to negative x plus 8, and I'll call that my y2. Going to the calculator, y1 is negative 2 by x minus 3 square plus 7, and y2 is negative x plus 8. Graphing these in the standard window by pressing zoom 6, I see two points of intersection. So I will need to run the calc intersect command twice. Second calc, fifth option, and let's find the left, interse the left intersection. My cursor is at 0, negative 11 right now, so a little bit off the screen, so I'll move to the right and get close to the point of intersection and hit enter three times. And so here's one point of intersection. Running the second, running the command again, second calc, fifth option, and now I'll move to the right and get close to the other point of intersection and again hit enter three times. And there's my second point of intersection. So we get two points of intersection for this one, and if we are asked to find the points of intersection, we would need to run the command twice and identify both points of intersection.